More legendary recordings have come from Abbey Road Studios than any other studio in history. Millions of records sold, millions of memories made, and even millions more to go. And no other room has written more chapters of this fabled story than the legendary Studio 3 at Abbey Road Studios, where Pink Floyd recorded and mixed Wish You Were Here, Frank Ocean recorded large parts of Blonde, and Amy Winehouse chronicled her final musical statements to the world. Waves Audio Abbey Road X Studio 3 plugin brings the perfect acoustics of Abbey Road Studio 3 control room right into your headphones in brilliant three-dimensional spatial sound powered by Waves pioneering NX 3D audio technology. When you think of a control room, when you think of, of mixing, what you want is something you can trust. You need to be able to trust the room to be able to make mixed decisions, to know that decisions you're making are going to be translated to the outside world. So this plugin allows you to hear your music, hear your tracks as if you were sat in Studio 3. It just gives you a really solid point of reference in you know, what's considered one of the, the best mix rooms in the world. So Abbey Road opened in November 1931, and Studio 3 has been here since 1931, but it looked very different. It was the smallest of the studios. In the early 70s, they did a redesign. The studio looked very, uh, I would say, almost Stanley Kubrick of the time, sort of modern 70s kind of look in the mid 80s. The methods and the trends for recording were, were, were changing quite dramatically. There was a lot more happening in the control room. There was a lot of um, the whole MIDI thing was seriously kicking off. There was a, a lot of synthesizers, a lot of tracks being built up in layers. So there's slightly less being done in the recording area. So what was decided was they were, were going to rip out everything and start again. Complete redesign. Uh, the studio manager at the time, Ken Townsend, gave the green light for this. They found the acoustic design group owned by a guy called uh, John Finn, an architect. Um, and he worked with um, an acoustician called Sam Toyoshima. They were um, given the go-ahead um, to, to start designing the new Studio 3. So the first booking taken in Studio 3, actually during the construction process, was uh, Pink Floyd, Delicate Sound of Thunder. They had a very specific date they had to get the project done by because, you know, the client was booked in. Um, so it was all hands on deck at the end of the day um, just to get the project um, finished in time. Uh, apparently, even um, the night before the session was due, Colette Barber, the studio manager, was up in the um, lounge area um, doing the tiles. You know, <laughs> just It was like literally everyone helping out uh, to make sure that the studio was, was ready for that session the next day. One of the major upgrades in Studio 3 was the Quest Ed speakers that were installed. They were big wall-mounted speakers, um, still there. They're a part of this plug-in. When they fired up those Quest Eds at um, sort of one o'clock in the morning, and everyone was just blown away by what they were hearing. A few of the engineers said things like, you know, we haven't really had sound like that at Abbey Road before. Um, you know, it was like a new era. So the plugin is powered by NX technology, and that helps trick the brain into thinking you are hearing sound from outside your head over a pair of headphones. And when we were doing listening tests for this plugin in Studio 3, when you are sat with a pair of headphones on listening to the NX software and you've got those speakers, you can see them in front of you in the control room of Studio 3, it's like you think you're hearing the sound from those speakers. It's, it is really powerful. Any control room is going to have a, a sweet spot. I mean, that's going to be your point of reference, where you want to be for critical listening, and that's where we've done the measurements for, for this plugin. It took a, a lot of tweaking, and going back to the drawing board a, a couple of occasions, you really start going into to details about what, what makes a room, what's missing, why are we missing those things, um, why are we not hearing them? And it took a lot of hard work to, to, to get to where we are now with this, with this software. The point of this plugin is to uh, enable you to make decisions over a pair of headphones that are usually very difficult to judge. Um, you know, when you've got the uh, the speakers just so close to the ears, um, you you lose that sense of crosstalk that you would get from a pair of speakers. You lose that sense of of space that you get get from a pair of speakers. 
Uh, and that can affect quite a few mix decisions in terms of panning, in terms of mix depth, in terms of bass response, especially that's really important. That's very difficult to judge over, uh, over a pair of headphones. You, you kind of need to make those decisions over speakers and that is what this plugin allows you to do, but over a pair of headphones. So in this plugin, you essentially have three ways of listening, three three sound fields. You've got the, the far field, which is the big wall-mounted speakers. Then you've got what we're calling the mid field, which is the uh, the floor standing B and W speakers. And then we've got near field, which are a pair of um, speakers that are placed just on on the meter bridge on the desk. What that allows you to do, as if you were actually mixing in Studio Three, is it allows you to try your mix out and and see how it sounds on on different types of speakers. And in different fields. One of the great aspects of Studio 3 is that you can mix in that room in, in 5.1 and 7.1, and that is in the plugin as well. You can listen to 5.1 or 7.1 over a pair of headphones. I remember very clearly when we did some early playbacks um, of, of the first version of the plugin in Studio 3, when you put those headphones on and and place some seven one back. Uh, you know, people were looking around. You know, behind them, it's like it's very powerful, very effective, very convincing, um, and it, it sounds great. I've been in Studio Three quite a lot over the years, and one of the you know great things about Studio Three is, and I've done it many times. You know, you sit there and you listen to music in there. You because um, it just sounds so good. And that's the first thing that hit me about this this software, this plugin. Um, when I started listening to music through the NX Studio 3 over my headphones, the first thing I noticed is when I turned it off, I, I missed the, the processing. Like suddenly it sounded boring almost, you know? And when you put it back in again, it's like, bam, there it is in front of me again. And I didn't think that would be possible over a pair of headphones, but we've achieved it.